What's up, YouTube, and welcome to my first ever Agatha deck. Agatha is a pretty unique card and considered quite the meme, but I gotta admit I was very surprised by how well this deck performed. We were climbing quite a bit and quite consistently in infinite ranks. So let me explain all the cards in the deck first, and then I'll tell you what the deck's strengths and weaknesses are. So one thing you need to know here is that Agatha's automatic plays are usually quite random and quite nonsensical. She doesn't really care about location, making sense and so on. But she always prioritizes playing herself whenever she has the chance. And this is why Wave is absolutely crucial in this deck. If we do get Wave on turn 3, we will always have Agatha on turn 4. She will play herself, she's a very high power card, and then we can follow up with some other power cards and power plays later on. The other idea to cheat out Agatha here is Lady Sif discarding Agatha on turn 3 and then her control over your deck already stops. You can play freely as you wish. She will also be your only discarded card, which means you can also cheat her out with Ghost Rider, basically 4 mana for 17 power. Pretty insane. So while you usually sacrifice turn 1 and turn 2 with this deck, you will make up for it by having some pretty insane power plays on turn 3, 4, 5 and 6. The rest of the deck is fairly flexible, I'll explain why everything is in here, but feel free to change some cards if you're missing some or if you want to try something else. The only staple here is America Chavez, she just adds so much consistency in the deck because we really need Wave or Lady Sif on turn 3 to get rid of Agatha or cheat her out as early as possible and so that we can take control over the game again. The core idea behind the rest of this deck is that we usually want to follow this up with some strong turn 4 and 5 plays and we have multiple options here. One line of play is we play Sarah on turn 5 and that allows us to play two discounted 4 costs on turn 6 for some pretty insane comeback potential. And Chandra's is pretty good in the current meta. She gets rid of dinosaurs, she can surprise her opponent and remove armor's effect if they play something like Destroyer. She gets rid of Knoll, the newest card in Marvel Snap. And Shang-Chi is also just pretty cracked in this meta. Tons of potential targets for him. The other cards that I personally am trying out right now is Absorbing Man. And to understand Absorbing Man, we look into another potential line of play. Like one is Wave turn 3, Agatha turn 4. Then we play Taskmaster on turn 5 to copy the 14 power of Agatha. And then we can play Absorbing Man on turn 6 to copy 14 power again. Alternatively, we can also play Red Skull on turn 6 or Red Skull on 5, Taskmaster on 6. There are lots of potential options here. Omega Red is also an interesting, very experimental choice here. While the idea of the card is quite cute in this deck, I think a card like Drax might just be a bit of a better replacement. But I didn't try Drax yet, so I let you be the judge of that. Drax also makes Absorbing Man a bit better with some more potential copy effects. So why should you play this deck? Why is it performing well in the ladder right now? I think the main reason is just a price value. Your opponents don't really know what deck they're facing and what to expect, and they don't really see all of those tech cards coming, like Shang-Chi and Enchantress, or the sudden power spikes of cards like Ghost Rider, Agatha, Red Skull, Taskmaster. Another reason is that this deck does fairly well into many of the meta decks. I already explained all of the cards that Shang-Chi and Enchantress counter. But if you sequence your plays well, you can also counter the Leech leader decks that are currently going around quite well. For example, if your opponent's leader copies Taskmaster or Absorbing Man, their copy will get the stats of leader, while your copy will usually be much stronger. Another cute way here to kind of counteract the leech is by just keeping Red Skull in hand until turn 6, and your opponent will remove this ongoing debuff for you, and you can then play him as a power card on turn 6. But keep in mind in that case that this card can still get leader, then it's also quite beneficial for your opponent. Either way, a very unique deck, very unique playstyle. I personally had a ton of fun and we climbed quite a bit on stream with this deck and here are a couple of highlight games from that climb. Go check live codes let's Oh, it might have slipped through. Let's see. Live coach plays Daredevil. I don't have Daredevil so I can't really say much about it. Um it makes sense. Looks all right. It's a bit more of a like well-rounded list. I personally would change a few things. Right on time. Come on. Absorbing man. What are you playing absorbing man for? Just Taskmaster copy? Looks a bit odd.
Okay, it's a start. Yeah, to Domino or not to Domino? That is a tough question. Into Sarah, into two. Yeah. Kind of snappable. Yeah, life coach list is pretty solid. I think I want to, like, especially if I don't have Daredevil, I want to pref like, I'd prefer a Sarah version, though. Okay. Oh, that just got chunk cheat. This is bad against Mr. Fantastic. Good against Warpath. Ooh. <laughs> Enchantress middle is so good. It's so freaking good right here. Oh, wow. G to the G. I want to I wanna wait a bit and give my opponent time to think and consider if they want to snap as well here. Because it looks kind of good for them, you know. They're ahead on all three locations. I guess I do have Sarah, so they do need to consider it for a sec. Oh, it doesn't look like they'll be snapping, though. Cosmo is a problem. Yeah, Cosmo is a problem. If they have it, they have it. What can we say? Oh, this might be Cosmo. No, don't do it. Ah, oh, so close. So close. So close. Interesting tech, though, the Atuma. Never seen that one before. Good game though, GG's. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this version though. I wanna, I wanna give Omega Red a couple of spins. Like it's also a card no one expects. And in Snap, like because you're playing for cubes and not for win rate, um, surprise value is much higher than in other card games. Like basically the the informational advantage. Oof, that makes Shang-Chi a bit, a lot less useful, actually. We don't quite have the right hand to snap here. Although we do have Agatha into Taskmaster, it's pretty good. Just give up left side. Their warpath is also, like, blocked. They play destroyer. Oh, they can play destroyer now. Their warpath is not blocked anymore. Sure. Is it ever Sarah instead? I don't think it is. Rather, a Taskmaster into Red Skull, I think. I could also order it the other way around. Okay, this is Destroyer. So they go up to, let's see, plus 15 and um, plus 4. Plus 19. 25. Easy. They go Destroyer right side to bamboozle us. Like, I would definitely assume they'll go middle, because if I do have two playable cards, it's much easier for me to win both lanes by just a, a, a slim margin. For them, the more natural play is definitely destroyer middle. Gotcha! GG's. Otherwise, that probably would have been our game. Like, we won middle and there wasn't a real way our opponent could catch up. Okay, away for Sif, please. Shite. One of those games. Take the wheel, Agatha. 
and watch her play Ghost Rider. Oh, it's not even time to take the wheel yet. Oh, it was because of Nova Roma. That's why. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's very tough to say, but Domino might just make the cut here. It'd be very interesting to see stats. Oh, now they also have Agatha! <laughs> All of a sudden, it's winnable. They were pretty far behind, but technically it's winnable. Oh no. Yeah, both of us play Agatha now. So if our opponent goes Agatha left, like we have 33% to win this. I'm pretty sure Agatha gets played in random ways. As long as our opponent doesn't snap, we can check this out. Like, we only need 25% equity to win this. You're the best, Agatha. Thanks for the carry. Victory. Woo! Did not expect to win this after this atrocious start. I mean, to be fair, I had one decision, and that was whether or not to, um, to snap or retreat or whatever. Okay. Not looking too bad so far. If, was it, was if you who, what? Can you <laughs> ask that question again, please? Get inspired from the Agatha games? Okay, you play Domino as well, it seems. Still on the edge about that card. Ooh, the... Thank you, Agatha, you're the best. Sick dodge there. I'll go middle. Ooh, Taskmaster. Uh, looks snap a bit, though. Was it you who created a cube farming list for Agatha? I mean, I just kind of built this uh, like earlier just a few uh what like an hour ago i'm not sure if i would call this cube farming list so far it performs surprisingly well i'm not sure if we're just high rolling though we have enchantress to beat the dino if they play dino this turn we're fine no matter what it's i guess arrow right that's scary let's go yeah, our list is very good against Dinos with Enchantress and Shang-Chi. Hoogland created one. I mean, I think this one is very close to the one that Hoogland built. A few different tech choices, and I'm not sure yet if Domino makes the cut or not. Oh, they went double Dino on the same lane! Easiest win of my life, let's go. Value. Minus 20 power. G to the G. Victory. The other upside is this deck is so off meta that people just don't expect it and don't know what to play around and what not to play around. Do you know what happens with Eco and Agatha? Ooh, good question. No idea. Go place the deck locations track priority. So that means he doesn't necessarily play Agatha as soon as possible, right? Uh, let's see if we get a free cube here. If it's Morbius, it's usually not going to be a Hella deck, but a Drac Dracula deck. And them losing Morbius is actually pretty big. We 
you think about absorbing, man? I'm thinking about it. The thing is, you're not really copying... T I guess you can copy... Nah, you're not really copying Taskmaster, though. Unless it's like Wave, Agatha, Taskmaster, Absorbing Man, then yes. Do we just contest the Dracula lane? Like, my only real play here is Crossbones. Nah, let's double down on left and then Red Skull middle. Sad thing is they can Omega bamboozle us by going Apocalypse left and like double swarm right. It's very risky for them, but they could technically do it. Oh, we beat this. GG's. We're actually farming, I can't believe it. See if our opponent ever snaps here. We're not safe though if they play the Leech Leader deck. And they can do this, then they can leader next turn. And then Shang-Chi. So there's a lot of counterplay, I can't really snap here yet. That's fine. Probably no leader in hand. That makes Shang-Chi for them much more awkward. Nice. Nice, read it well. So I could snap, the question is does that scare off our opponent? I think snap would scare them off. We just take the we just hope they stay here for one extra cube. I'm fine with that. Uh, what? Victory. What? Were they hoping I would not play anything left? I guess. Okay, I I believe in you, Agatha. Don't fuck up. Just have one job. Drax over Omega Red. Yeah, I could see Drax. Drax is fine. Psst. You did it, Agatha. I'm proud of you. Although I don't think Omega Red is bad. Kind of tough to, to say. Like, Drax is much worse against Leader. We can't really access the left. Oh, we can with Ghost Rider. Is it Red Skull into Ghost Rider? Is it Sarah? Sarah and Shang Chi, right? To destroy monster. We try to win right side and left side. We snap back here. It's scary against Mr. Negative though. Oh, we don't even win left. Against Surfer, do we? Get plus twelve. They're at sixteen left. So they go like Surfer Wolfsbane. 
Does Wolfsbane outgrow Agatha? Let's assume it's a 1-3. Plus 6, 9, plus 6, 15. A surfer buff. This is close. Uh, the question is like, what did they draw? How much impact does it have? I think we win this. They messed up the Mystique. Uh, but even if they wouldn't have messed up the Mystique, we still win this. Oh, I'm scared. Please don't play Sif middle. Oh, that's also not good. Ooh. Brother. Now it gets wild. Okay, we win middle. Easy. We got this. This is somewhat... Win we don't even win middle. They're just gonna go Kazar Blue Marvel. We have a Chantress though. We try to win left, sorry, middle and right. Avengers! Snipe him, snipe him. Yes! Justice does exist! And this game is so rigged RNG wise, it's crazy. Are we not just winning? Oh, they have priority, though. I mean, we have priority, rather. <laughs> it worked! How the flying F did we win this one? Okay, Sif Ghost Rider, Red Skull Taskmaster. This is also Shang-Chi Protect. Oh. <laughs> mm. Thank goodness I didn't snap early. Okay, not the worst. Still breaks our curve immensely. What's up, Baja? What's popping? Congrats on the... I know you would have wished to advance further, but still, very nice run in the tournament overall. So if we want to play around leader... Do we play around leader or do we play around leader is basically the question. Let's assume they go leech here. Dude, what? <laughs> oh! 
Why the queen copied Agatha? Because, oh, of course. They revealed first. So they copied Agatha and then we discarded her off of the Lemuria. It actually, oh my goodness. That actually worked out perfectly. I thought we got Rake Road, but our opponent got Rake Road. The pixel goose card art. <sighs> Thank you, Agatha. Well, at least you're making hand space. It's something. Oh, winnable. The scary thing is if we top deck a rock now and Agatha doesn't play wave. Oh, cool. Come on, like half an IQ point would be enough to not make this play. Like two thirds of a brain cell is all that you would have needed. Mm-hmm. Copy the the <laughs> the rock effect. I like it. Ooh. First play that makes sense. We got no scoped. Well, I don't like our chances here. No, it's not worth a cube. Uh, but Subterranea, what if they have a brick hand as well? I didn't play any rocks yet. What do you think, chat? Do we run or do we fight? Retreat? Okay, seems like people want to retreat. Everyone except for Baja. They have it, they have it. You, you have prepped too much with NA people, man. I don't know about Absorbing Man in this. I felt like he didn't pop off a single time yet. That bricks my... Ghost Rider. Okay, we're going for that angle. It's fine. A Galactus incoming. So what, they go Hobgoblin left? Oh, just slamming. Ooh, okay. We got ourselves a game. got ourselves a game. They play Shang-Chi as well. Wait, how many cards got destroyed? It wasn't that many. It was Electro and Wave. They don't get Death. They get, could get Spider-Man. Okay, Gamora. What if we just Sarah here to dodge their Shang-Chi? It's bad against Spider-Man. It's good against a lot of other stuff. We want them to have prior last turn, right? So that our Chang Chi pops off. Welcome to Enchantress's world. And what, Gamora? What else can I play? Shang-Chi and something else. 13. Don't we just beat this? We have three power left after Shang-Chi. They probably think Shang-Chi makes their Knoll go to 19. 
and not knowing that Enchantress is about to hit them. Ooh, Titania. Spicy. Not enough, though. Victory. Read this one like a book. GG's.